Social activists and surviving victims of 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War organized a mass rally in Dhaka. They expressed their voice of disappointment against verdict pronounced on Ghulam Azam, an Islamist leader who was found guilty of war crime and demanded death penalty to him. Ghulam Azam, a leader of Jamaat-e-Islami party, was awarded 90 years of sentence by a war crimes tribunal set up by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. He was found guilty of committing crimes during Bangladesh's 1971 War of Independence with Pakistan. This mass public meeting was organized under the banner of the Anti-War Crimes Forum, Gono Jagrat Manch, to oppose the verdict. Participants at the rally said Azam should have been awarded capital punishment. <laughs> Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina set up the War Crimes Tribunal in 2010 to investigate abuses during the conflict and it delivered its first verdict in January. However, the Prime Minister's opponent said that she is using the trial as a medium against the two biggest opposition parties, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party and the Jamaat-e-Islami. The ruling party has rejected such criticism and denied accusations of bias.